good morning and welcome to UIO 2020. I'm Jimmy Howe. Jasmine. Tony. Camilla. John. Jamri. Tara. Robert. I'm Eva. I'm Matthew. I'm Julie. Edith. I'm Jasmine. Hi, I'm Sinead. I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Zoe. Anna and Rebecca. I'm Shania. My name is David. I'm Eve. Hi, I'm Sue. Sally, I'm from Cork. I'm Aidy. I'm Evie. Hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm Killian. I'm Lucia. I'm James. Yeah, hi, I'm Johnny. Darvla. I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm Harvey. Hi, I'm Neve. I'm Leisha. I'm David. I'm Rebecca. I'm Fiona. I'm Jack. I'm Abby. I'm Emily. My name's Owen. I'm the Wade. I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Owen. Uh, hi, I'm Patrick. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm Aubrey. Hi, I'm Connor. I'm Peter. Uh, I'm Shea. I'm Nate. Hello, my name is Paula Klein and I'm the General Manager of the Ulster Youth Orchestra. Welcome to UIO Online 2020. everyone. I've got such wonderful memories of the course and concerts last year and I remember being continually inspired by your energy, enthusiasm and virtuosity. Um, I hope that this year you managed to take some inspiration uh, from this situation. Um, all the best to members old and new and I hope you have a wonderful time. Take care. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Michael McHale and I'd like to welcome you to this year's Ulster Youth Orchestra. Um, I'm delighted to be a patron of the, of the orchestra and as a former member myself I have so many happy memories uh, of such great times making music and making friends and uh, I hope you will all have a fantastic time on the course this year. I wish you all the best for a fantastic course. Thanks so much. Welcome to you all. I hope you have a fantastic course with the Ulster Youth Orchestra in this year 2020. I remember being there in 2003 where we did two great concerts in Belfast and Dublin with Jan Pascal Tortelier. Have a great time, work hard and make great music. See you soon. Hi everyone, it's Nikki Benedetti here. This is a message for everyone at Ulster Youth Orchestra. I know that you are all taking part in an online residency. Um, I know it's super, super difficult to be feeling the excitement of music making when you're largely on your own, but just embrace it as much as you can and um, I'm just wishing you all the best of luck and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. I want to wish you all the best. Enjoy yourself playing this great masterpiece of Tchaikovsky. I think it's a beautiful piece and I'm sure you will all do it proud. Hi everyone and welcome to the course. The 2020 course will be special indeed. Um, of course we are living in very unsettling times and so the structure of the course is different. We will never meet face to face but only with the Zoom meetings and we will make music uh, together but uh, separate at the same time. The repertoire is uh, wonderful. Uh, it is an immortal masterpiece by Tchaikovsky, the Romeo and Juliet, which I believe has all the characteristic uh, of love, power, brutality and uh, uh, tenderness at the same time. Good luck, break a leg and uh, enjoy, because you know, we are doing the most beautiful thing in the world, which is music making. Good music making. A kiss and a hug to him. Virtual hug to everyone. Ciao. Well, 2020 hasn't really been the year that anybody was envisaging. Um, when we realised that we weren't going to be able to hold our normal course at Greenmount, we really did want to be able to give something to the students that would be valuable and enjoyable and try and replicate as much of our normal rehearsal experience as we could. So we set off on this um, rather scary journey into uh, looking at, at how this would all work. Um, we took a little bit of advice from NYOGB, a little bit from Benedetti uh, sessions, um, and we kind of pieced together uh, our own version of, of an online course. The online course schedule 
has been quite intensive, almost as much as, as it would be if we had been uh, on our normal residential. That's great. Yes, no, that's fine. That's great. And uh, yeah, that was absolutely bang on. That's, that's lovely. Because um, you really, you can imagine the audiences at this time would have been thinking, what is going on? You know, because they were used to hearing the orchestral tutti and then then the violin coming in at that moment, to this moment here. Um, but actually he adds that little introduction at the beginning. So they would have already been just in awe probably. Uh, and so then this is such an exciting moment. So then when they finally hear the, the Allegro Aperto, which of course means open. And, and of course he's just so amazingly well written in this key, A major, bright and wonderful, showing off the sound of the violin. Um, so yeah, they're just worth bearing in that mind how unusual that introduction is and, and, and tell that story to the audience a bit more. <laughs> So many, many years ago, I would have had hours and hours spare to do loads and loads of practice. And actually, sometimes now I might only have about 10 or 15 minutes to try and do the best amount of practice that I can do. Now, just to let you know, you will get a bit bored because I'm probably going to use the word practice at least a thousand times in the next couple of in the next hour. Uh, so I apologize for that. And then we'll have a vote at the end because I was just chatting with Laura about this as to whether it's practice with a C or practice with an S. So we'll have a vote about that at the end and we'll see. Because um, currently I don't know because I just play the tuba. Starting to kind of get much bigger circles now. Can you, I hope you can see? I'm trying to lift up my arms a bit uh, and then get your hands involved. So you're kind of creating little windmills at the side. This is great. I can see lots of activity on one screen. This is brilliant. So now we should be at kind of full throttle. There should be a, quite a breeze going either side of you. And then if you want to speed up, that's fine. But only go within the range of your movement and capacity. Yeah, um, so this one is also very good for some of the stuff that we've been talking about. Um, we, we talked, especially in the first couple of sectionals, about um, like really kind of loosening the, the wrists, freeing up the wrists as much as possible, and uh, having a really good like detache stroke. And this one's a very good uh, exercise for that. If you do these, this particular one, really close to the point with very sharp. We're going to say, I've just remembered to start the recording. So <laughs> we're going to go from E. It's fine, they don't watch them anyway. They just want me to tell them if there's any funny bits, but I'm supposed to submit recordings anyway because there's going to be like a big highlights video. So your faces along with mine are all going to be on this highlights video. So there we go. Great, okay, so we're going to go. And vibrato on every note, so we want to kind of roll. Oh no. Oh, you're back. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about, about that. that. It might happen again, it's my mum calling. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we all know I hate it time. when that happens. Yeah. Hello?
Is anybody there? Hi, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Laura. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm in the wrong room. Sorry about yeah, that. Sorry, don't worry. Great. No, you're in the wrong room. Ah, oh. What do I have to do? <laughs> awesome. You've been playing some basketball today, Andrea? Shooting some hoops. <laughs> it looks like it's just walking up. <laughs> yep. Precisely. <laughs> how's, the, how's the internet in Drumbo today, Andy? Uh, so far, so good. So long may continue, but <laughs> I'm not hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone's frozen on your screen. Right, okay, Louise. Um, everyone else okay with the connection? <laughs> You're still moving for me though, Louise, so that's fine. Um... That's good. Um, would you just turn your Okay, can you change your name? Do you know how to change your name from AirPad, iPad Air 2? No. What are you on? Laptop or? I'm on an iPad Air 2. <laughs> uh, you're still muted, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Laura. You all right? I can't hear anyone. I can't hear you either, actually. Oh. Why can't I hear anyone? Do you want to go out and come back in? Tell me why I can't hear anyone, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Is that any better running? Can you hear anything no, now? I can't hear you. Can you hear anything now? I can't hear anything. No. Can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Okay, do I? Can you hear me, Laura? I can, I can hear you. Can you hear me? UIO was a really valuable and enjoyable experience for me. And I think that as a group of young people, we're really lucky to be able to spend one-on-one -on -one time with tutors of such a high calibre. And as a whole, I think it's a really good experience that I'd recommend. Hi, my name's Eve, and I'm a violist in Ulster Youth Orchestra. This was my first year with UIO and while it was really unfortunate we couldn't meet in real life this summer, I think I still had the best time and everyone had so much fun while learning so much. Uh, everyone's worked as hard as they would have had we been in Greenmount and the music is going to be something really special. I can't wait to see the final result. UIO 2020 was a fantastic experience. I loved all of it, to, even down to like entertainment nights like bingo night and pizza night, fantastic. And the talks were really interesting and informative. What I've loved about this year's UIO course is that it hasn't felt like it's been on the screen at all. Uh, you still get that Greenmount family feeling uh, that you get from all the other years, even though it's all been online. And it's also been so well organised from the sectionals to the entertainment. So thank you so much. I had a fantastic time. Thank you for making it possible. I've really enjoyed the course. It's been interesting, fun and inspiring. And I think despite being at home for the course this year, I think we've still been able to learn so much from our conductors and uh, our tutors. We've had everything from online sectionals to a pizza night on Zoom and even a game of bingo. 
So thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Even with all of 2020's restrictions, we've definitely had a true UIO experience. We've learned so much. We've had access to excellence with our wonderful tutors and conductors. We've developed musically and socially, and we've kept the UIO crack alive. As UIO 2020 draws to a close, I want to thank all of our players for their commitment and their wonderful talents. And we really look forward to getting together to play music as soon as we can safely do so. Thanks very much UIO 2020, it's been a blast.